Namaste, my friends. Welcome to day one. Melt your stress away. Hashtag I'm strong, I'm healthy. Welcome to your math. This is your safe place where you can disconnect from whatever you need to disconnect. This is your safe place to connect. Connect to yourself, connect inward. This is your safe place to let go, to surrender, soften, humble, embrace, and just to be fully present in the right now, right here, exactly where you're supposed to be. Let's begin. All right, my friends. So yoga blocks are always useful in practice. So if you use the yoga blocks, make sure you have them near you. If you don't have a yoga blocks, you can find a few books or a shoe box or any object that look alike. We will begin this practice in a seated meditation. Take one block or maybe a cushion or roll a blanket underneath your sitting bones. It will help us to find more length through the spine. Sit nice and tall, rest your palms on top of your knees, close your eyes. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face. Soften your jaw. Begin to bring your all awareness to the rhythm of your breath listening to your inhales as they come and to your exhales as they go. We will begin ignite a mantra that's going to keep us motivated and positive throughout this journey. I am strong. I am healthy. Take a deep breath in. Repeat to yourself, I am strong. Take it in, hold, and as you exhale, I am healthy, releasing that healthiness, that affirmation to the universe. Again, inhale, I am strong. Feel it in your body. Exhale, I am healthy. Inhale, breathe deeper, fuller. I am strong. Pause, hold. Exhale, I'm healthy. Now keep repeating these mantras quietly to yourself with each cycle of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Let it be your truth. Inhale. Exhale. We will find a complete stillness here. Just keep repeating these mantras to yourself. Remember, this is your safe place and you are creating your own reality with your words, with your thoughts, and with your feelings. So allow yourself to feel good. I'm strong. I am healthy. We will take about five more breaths. Keep softening your body. Let this affirmation to be loud inside of you. Feel the vibration of your words. I 
I am strong. I am healthy. One more breath. I am strong. Pause. Hold it inside of you. Feel the power. And then breathe out. I am healthy. Beautiful. Now take the biggest breath of your day. Fill up your belly. Fill up your lungs. Widen across your collarbones. Hold your breath for five, four, three, two, one. Open mouth. Let go of anything that doesn't serve you. <sighs> Beautiful. Blink your eyes to open. If you are sitting on a block or any object, put it aside and we will make our way onto our toes. So go ahead, come into a kneeling position, tuck your toes under and sink your sitting bones to, onto your heels. Hands resting on your thighs, find length through your spine, slightly engage your core. As you inhale, we're going to reach the arms up, find a lot of energy through your fingertips. Grab your right wrist, lengthen the right side body, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lean to the left as you're stretching the right side body. Feel the sensation, breathe into that sensation. Inhale. Go deeper with your exhale. Back to center. Grab your left wrist. Lengthen the left side body. Begin to lean to the right. Inhale. Find depth with your exhale. One more breath. Lengthen out of your waist. Inhale. Go deeper. Exhale. Inhale, back to center, interlock all ten fingers, your palms facing skyward. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, chin to your chest, reach the arms in front of you, push them away from you, round your upper back. Feel the opening in the upper back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach the arms all the way back behind you. Lift your heart, exhale, interlock all ten fingers at your lower back. Push the knuckles down towards the earth as you're puffing up your heart. Lift your gaze. Take a breath in. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale. Relax. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Let's repeat this one more time. Inhale. Reach your arms up. Grab your right wrist. Lengthen the right side body. Exhale. Lean to the left gaze underneath your right armpit. Inhale, center. Exhale, grab your left wrist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take a stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale, interlock all ten fingers, palms facing up. Inhale, chin to chest, round your upper back. Exhale, push your hands away from you. Inhale, arms goes all the way back behind you. Exhale, interlace all ten fingers. Inhale, push the knuckles down, lift through your heart. Bring the gaze up, stay here with your exhale. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, plug the hands to your heart. Close your eyes for a moment and take this opportunity to set an intention for the practice. What are you looking today to get out of your practice? Breathe in. Release your intentions to the universe. Let it out. <sighs> Beautiful. Hinge forward. Ground your hands. Untuck your feet. And tap your feet. Allow some fresh blood to flow back into your toes. Good. Keep your hips over your knees. Walk the arms forward. Let's find a puppy pose. Melting your heart down to the earth. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Let the gravity take you deeper into the pose. Your job is to surrender and breathe. Stay fully present with your breath. 
Let the breath to open up your body. Let's take two more breaths here in poppy pose. Just keep relaxing and letting the breath to take you deeper and deeper into the pose. Beautiful. Slowly from here, push into your inner hands as you're lifting your chin up. Straighten the arms and then hinge forward. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, coming into cobra pose. So begin here to sway side to side. Notice how you feel in the lower back. Maybe you want to do a few cobra drops and lifts. So just begin to move your body how it feels good for you. If you need slightly bend your elbows, bend your elbows. But I want you to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Gazing forward. Keep steady breath. Nice. Now bring your hands to the outer edges of your mat and then straighten the arms and go a little bit deeper into your cobra. Take a breath in. Lift your gaze. Relax. Surrender into your sensation. Breathe out. Beautiful. Push the earth away through the inner hands. Come up into your knees. Big toes to touch. Open the knees out wide. Child's pose. Rest your forehead on your mat and just relax. Relax and allow your stress to melt away. Remember, you are in control. We cannot control what's going on around us, but we can control what's going on inside of us. So take this control into your hands. Ignite your breath and choose to feel good. Choose to be calm. Choose to surrender, humble, soften. Breathe in and out. Remember, you are in a safe place. Lift your gaze. Make your way to all fours. Tuck your toes under. Let's find downward facing dog. Place your feet hip distance apart. Bring the gaze to your arms, to your hands. Make sure that your hands and arms are shoulder distance apart. Index finger pointing forward. Pressing through all ten knuckles of your hands. Soften the knees. Bring your belly to your thighs. Lift your sitting bones high up. And find a lot of length through your spine. Relax your head and neck. And then shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Now I want you to keep your left knee bent as you're pressing your right heel down to the earth, feeling that opening in the back of our right leg. Take a breath in and out. Rebend into the right knee and press your left heel down to the earth. Beautiful. Notice the difference between your left and right side. Take a breath in and out. Bend both of your knees. Lift your sitting bones even higher, find more length through the spine, and then gracefully begin to lower both of the heels down to your mat. Doesn't matter if they touch or not. What matters is the sensation that you feel. Again, embrace wherever you are right now in your practice. It's just a yoga practice. So letting go of any perfections, letting go of any expectations, and fully allowing yourself to be present in the moment. Inhale, reach your right heel up high. Single leg down dog, bend your knee and open up your hip. Keep both of your shoulders squared. And let's find a few circles, circling that right knee. Knee to chest and then back to the sky. Knee to chest, back to the sky. Switch the direction of your circles. 
Beautiful. Now inhale, extend that right leg. And as you exhale, you're going to step that right leg behind your right hand, coming into a lunge. Beautiful. From here, we're going to come to the outer edges of both our feet as you pivot both of your feet to the right. So your left toes and right toes are going to point to the right. Shift all the way to your left arm. Sweep the right arm up to the sky. Open. See how it feels. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to bring that right arm across your ear line as you're pivoting your heart all the way skyward. Take a breath in and out. Now reach your right arm to the back of your mat towards your left leg and you're going to drop your left hip down. Bring the gaze to your fingers. Energize your fingers. Inhale, come up. Lift the hips as high as you can. Right arm across your ear line. Exhale, sink. Mm, can you feel it? This is the tension and the stress that we're going to go away. Inhale, lift. Exhale one more time. Sink. Inhale, lift. Beautiful. Look down. Bring your right hand down. Walk your right foot to the middle of your mat. Straighten both of your legs, and I want you to flex your right toes towards your face. If you need here to use a yoga block or both of the yoga blocks. So this is option that is available to you. Good. Flexing the right toes in towards your face. A lot of length through your spine. Take a breath in. Exhale. Fold. Relax. Soften. Surrender. Let the breath go inside of you and create space. One more breath in. And out. Inhale, look up, bend into the right knee and step your left foot to the front of your mat. Bring your feet into hip distance apart. Ragdoll position, grab the opposite elbows, begin to sway side to side. Shifting most of your weight to the balls of your feet and allowing the gravity to take you deeper and deeper. Keeping belly tight connection. So if you need to bend your knees a lot, bend your knees a lot. As you're straightening the legs, so you want to maintain that belly to thigh connection, reaching the elbows down to the earth. One more breath. Let something go. Good. Release your arms, heel to your feet to touch. Soften the knees. Inhale, roll up to standing. One vertebra at a time. Reach the arms up and over your head. Look up. Exhale, plug the hands to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. A lot of energy through your fingers. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Leading with a long spine. Hands to the earth, bend the knees if you need. Let go of your head and neck. Halfway, lengthen your spine, suck the belly in and up. Exhale, step back into plank pose. Align your shoulders over your wrists. Now here, we want to push against the gravity. So you're pushing the earth away, rounding your upper back, finding a lot of engagement in your arms, in your core, Engaging your quads, take a breath in, hinge forward. Shoulders goes beyond your fingers, lower halfway or all the way maybe, chaturanga. <laughs> Upward facing dog, inhale, shine your beautiful heart. Exhale, tuck your toes under, find downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And out. Come high to your toes. Lift your heels. Now pivot both of your feet to the right and then drop the heels down. Can you feel this in your left side body? That feels so good. Take your breath in into your left side body. And let go. <sighs> Inhale high to your toes. Exhale. Pivot your feet to the left. Drop the heels down. Maybe you want to slightly bend your knees to deepen the sensation. Take a breath in. 
and out. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, drop out of the heels down. Inhale, sweep the left heel up to the sky. Single leg, down dog. Bend your knee, open the hip. Stacking that right knee on top, your, sorry, left knee on top of your right hip. And then let's invite a few circles. Circling that knee out. Good. Switch the direction of the circles. Nice. Now next, inhale. Single leg, down dog. And as you exhale, step your left foot behind your left hand. Very nice. Pivot both of your feet to the left as you're coming to the outer edges of both of your feet. Ground your right hand down. Inhale, sweep your left arm up. Lift your hips as high as you can. Again, here we're working against gravity. You want to push the earth away so you can feel a crunch in your right side body. Inhale. Exhale, left arm comes across your ear line. A lot of energy. Good. As you exhale, you're going to drop your right hip. Reach the left arm towards your right leg. Good. Then inhale. You're going to lift as high as you can. Exhale, drop and reach the arm to the back of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Feels very good, right? Inhale, reach. Good. And as you exhale, you're going to ground your left hand down. Walk your left foot to the center of your mat. Step the right foot slightly in. And then lift your left toes and flex your foot. Use your blocks here again if you need. Props are amazing to deepen your practice. Find length through your spine. Engage your core. Inhale. Exhale. Walk the hands forward and just fold. Fold and relax. Remember to surrender. To humble. Soften. And just stay present with the breath. Inhale, look up, rebend into that left knee, and step your right foot to the front of your mat. Again, bring your feet into hip distance apart. This time with your peace finger, hook your big toes. Bend the knees if you need to, okay? That's okay to bend your knees. I'd rather you to keep uh, proper alignments than just push yourself beyond your limits and hurt yourself. Inhale, find length through your spine. And as you exhale, keeping the belly thigh connection as you opening your elbows to the side, fold forward, completely relax your head. Now we're working with the gravity. Take, let the gravity to take you deeper. Your job is to stay calm, present and breathe maybe here you would like to repeat your mantra i am strong i am healthy try to bring more weight to the balls of your feet take a full breath in and a full breath out slowly let go Lift your gaze, heel to your feet to touch, soften the knees. Inhale, begin to roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, plug the hands to heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward, Uttanasana, touch the floor. Inhale, halfway, fine length. Exhale, step back, high plank. Again, hold your high plank, press the earth away. A lot of engagement, squeeze your arms towards each other. Feel the fire in your biceps, in your triceps. Beautiful, hinge forward, shoulders goes beyond your fingers. Lower halfway, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. 
downward facing dog. <laughs> Exhale. Breathe in and out. Walk your hands towards your feet. Open up your feet to the outer edges of your mat, heels in, toes out, squat all the way down into Malasana, frog pose. A little bit sway here side to side. Notice how you feel in your hips. Hips, this is the place where we store all of our frustration, stress, tension. So this pose will allow you to let go. You just need to be aware of what you feel and use your breath to let it go. Okay, fine, still let's plug the hands to your heart. Push your knees away with your elbows. Lengthen the tailbone down and lengthen out of your crown of the head. Close your eyes. I am strong. I am healthy. Take a moment here to completely slow down and soften. There is nowhere to go. There is nothing to do. It's just enjoy this very moment. Breathe in and let something go. Breathe out. Beautiful. Place your hands down. Send the sitting ones up to the sky. Heel to your feet back to touch. Walk your hands forward. Find downward facing dog. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands, drop your left knee down. Anjanayasana, inhale, sweep your arms up, sink your hips forward and down as you're lifting your gaze and heart. Take a breath in. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, step your left foot to the front. Inhale, halfway, lengthen. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, mountain pose, come up. Exhale, hands to heart. <sighs> Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward. <sighs> Inhale, halfway, lengthen. Exhale, step your right foot to the back of your mat. Drop your right knee down. Anjanayasana. Inhale, reach your arms up. Look up. Exhale, sink forward and down. Feel the opening in your right hip flexor. Beautiful. Exhale, ground your hands. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, high to your toes. Ripple forward, high to low plank. Vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, look up. Exhale, left foot in between your hands. Drop the right knee down. Inhale, Anjanayasana. Look up, arms up. Exhale, sink, find the Inhale, look forward. Exhale, right foot to the front. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up, Urdhva Hastasana. Arms up. Exhale, Samastihiti, hands to heart. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, mountain pose. Exhale, swan dive, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step your left foot to the back of your mat, drop the knee. Inhale, Anjanayasana. Exhale, sink, find dip. Inhale, look forward, ground your hands. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, ripple forward, high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, look up, step, or maybe hop your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway, find length. Exhale, fold, find dip. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose, bend your knees, sing low, reach the arms in the front of you. Beautiful. Shift the weight into your heels, 
stay here, find a smile, relax your shoulders, breathe in and out, fold forward Uttanasana, slightly walk your feet backward, let's come into Bakasana Crow Pose, come high to your toes, knees behind your armpits, ground your hands, send the gaze forward, just lean forward, if you don't have Bakasana in your practice just yet, so keep working on bringing your weight forward and then eventually you will be able to float your feet so try if you don't try you will never gonna get there good then from here step or hop into your vinyasa <sighs> upward facing dog inhale downward facing dog exhale <laughs> Let's take here three breaths. If you need a child's pose, please drop down to your knees and take child's pose. And then join us whenever you are ready. Breathe in fully. Exhale completely. Inhale, sweep the right heel up to the sky, single leg, down dog. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Ground your left heel down, inhale, warrior one, Virabhidrasana one. Come up, reach the arms up, and then go ahead and sink into your warrior one. So your right knee stacked directly over your right ankle. Energize your fingers. Find your breath, inhale, exhale. Reach the arms back behind you, interlock all 10 fingers. Inhale, press the knuckles down as you're squeezing the shoulder blades. Lift your heart, lift your gaze, inhale. Exhale, humble warrior. Drop your right shoulder inside your right knee. See if you can push your right knee out with the shoulder and feel that, feel that gorgeous stretch in the outer right hip and maybe also in your right hip flexor. Full breath in, out. Stay as you are, only let go of your grip. Bring the right hand inside your right foot. Adjust your left foot. Inhale, coming into extended side angle pose. You can use your block here if you need to find more length. Beautiful. Let's bring that left arm across your ear line. Breathe in and out. Next, Skandasana Ninja Squat. So you're gonna reach that left arm behind you, straighten the right leg, bend into the left knee, and then squat down. You can place the arms in front of you or hands to your heart. And again, I will suggest here to push that left knee with your left elbow or shoulder so you can feel more opening. Maybe pointing your toes or flexing, Whatever feels good for you. It's your practice. I'm just guiding you. But you are choosing how you want to take it. Beautiful. Next inhale, warrior two. Virabhidrasana to Use your core to lift yourself up. Inhale. And then exhale. Sink into warrior two. Beautiful. Reach through the fingers to the opposite directions. Stay low, inhale. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Reach the right arm to the back of your mat, sliding your left fingers down towards your left heel. Staying low in your lunge, so your right knee is still over your right ankle. Take a breath in and cartwheel your hands down as you breathe out. Beautiful. From here, you're gonna sweep your right heel up to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip, and then flip your dog. Good. Inhale, lift your hips, lift your heart. 
and exhale. Let's take a vinyasa. So find your plank pose, hinge forward, high to low plank. Upward facing. And downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left heel up high, single leg down dog. Exhale, step your left foot in between your hands. Try not to lift your hands. Ground your right heel down. Inhale, Anjana, yes, I am sorry, Virabhudrasana one, warrior one. Come up and then sink low. Square butt of the hips to the front of your mat. Press through the outer edge of your right foot. So feeling super grounded here. <sighs> Feeling supported by our Mother Earth. Sink deeper. Inhale. Exhale. Reach the arms back behind you. Bring the opposite pinky on top. Interlace your fingers. Inhale. Send the knuckles down. Lift your heart. Lift your gaze. Exhale. Humble forward. Drop your left shoulder inside your left knee. Reaching the knuckles overhead. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades. Breathe into your sensations. Full breath in. Full breath out. Stay as you are. Only let go of your grip. Bring your left hand inside your left foot. Adjust your right foot slightly so it's parallel to the back of your mat. And then inhale, reach your right arm up into extended side angle pose. Bring that right arm across your ear line. Spiral your belly and your heart all the way skyward. Take a breath in and out. Next, skandasana. Reach your right arm to the back of your mat. Straighten the left leg and bend into the right knee. Squat all the way down. Hands to heart center. Or maybe you want to bring the arms in front of you. I will suggest to push the right knee out with your right elbow to find a deeper opening in your hips. Breathing. And out. Beautiful. Use your core. Inhale. Let's rise up. Warrior two. Virabhudrasana two. Open up. Extend the arms. Sink low. Find the hip. Squeeze both of your heels toward each other. Try to feel more engagement in your inner thighs. Take a breath in. Exhale, reverse warrior. Left arm comes to the back of your mat. Keep sinking deeper into the lunge and slide your right fingers down towards your right heel. How deep you can go. It all depends how deep you can surrender and just let go of expectations and allowing your breath to take you there. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Inhale, sweep your left heel up to the sky, single leg down dog. Bend the knee, open the hip, and then gracefully flip your dog. Right toes comes behind you. Lift your hips, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Take a breath in and out. Ground your left hand, high to low plank, going through vinyasa. <sighs> Upward facing dog, and then downward facing dog. Let's take here a few breaths. Again, child's pose is always there for you when you need it. Or you can always press the pause button and just, you know, join us when you're ready. Inhale, reach your right heel up high, single leg down dog, bend the knee, open the hip, and then again, go ahead and flip your dog. Can you lift your hips a little bit higher? 
Breathe in. In out. Ground your right hand. Inhale. Right leg up high. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Hold, pause. Then extend that leg into falling triangle. Inhale, reach your arms up. Pivot. Open. Breathe in. And out. Ground your left hand. Again, inhale, right heel up high. Single leg down dog. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Flip your dog. And as you exhale, you're going to slowly sink both of your hips down to the mat. Bring the right hand back behind you. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, it's fine. A twist. Left elbow outside of your right knee. Fine length. Gaze over your right shoulder and twist. Breathe in. And out. Two more breaths here. Just close your eyes. Soften. Use the breath to take you deeper. Nice. Open your eyes. Slowly untwist. Nice. Cross both of your ankles. Bring the hands in front of you and make your way into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left heel up high, single leg down dog. Exhale, bend the knee, open your hip, and then go ahead and find your wild thing, Kama Karasana. Inhale. Exhale, ground your left hand down. Inhale, reach your right heel, left heel, I'm sorry, up to the sky. Exhale, knee to your right tricep. Pause, hold. Extend the leg. Open up, right arm comes up. Shine all yourself to the sky. Take a breath in and out. Ground your right hand down. From here, we're going to go ahead and flip our dog again. Can you go a little bit deeper? Can you breathe a little bit fuller? Inhale. Exhale, sink all the way down. Left hand comes behind you. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, right elbow outside of your left knee. Find a twist. And go ahead and close your eyes. Listen to your breath. One more full breath in. And a full breath out. Beautiful, slowly untwist. Scoop yourself to the center of your mat. Extend both of the legs in front of you. Inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, hinge from your hips, leading with your chest, coming into seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Just relax. You can round your upper back or find length, yogi choice, whatever feels good for you. I would suggest to find length in your spine. It will help you to open up more uh, at the back of your legs. But if rounded back feels good for you right now, take it. You can also place a block in between your calves and place your forehead on a block. One more full breath in. Let it out. Lift your gaze. Roll up to sit it. Bend the knees. Scoop all the way forward. Bring the hands behind your knees. And then slowly, slowly roll yourself all the way down onto your back. 
happy baby pose. Grab the inner arches or maybe the outer arches of the feet. I want you to stack the ankles on top of your knees, push those knees down and a little bit sway side to side. If it feels good to extend one leg, maybe the other, maybe both. One more breath. Let it go. Beautiful hug, butt of the knees into the chest. Curl into a tiny little bow. Squeeze everything tight, tight, tight. And then let it go into your final resting pose, Shavasana. One hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Relax. Soften, surrender, embrace the moment. Completely relax your feet, toes, legs, the entire torso, arms and shoulders. All the tiny muscles on your face and just breathe. I am strong. I am healthy. You're welcome to repeat these mantras to yourself. I'm strong. I'm healthy. Yes, you are. We are strong and we are healthy. All is well. We are exactly where we're supposed to be. Just keep relaxing, allowing your stress to go away. While you're here resting in your Shavasana, I would like to read you something. Don't let the fear, insecurities, and limiting beliefs of others limit what's possible for you. One of the most important commitments you will ever make is to proactively and continuously improve and work on yourself. Keep adding value to your life and bring out the best in you for yourself. And of course, bring that for others. You are strong. You are healthy. You got this. We all got this. Now, if you are want to stay in your Shavasana for a little bit longer, please stay. If you're ready to make your way back to life, wiggle your toes, your fingers. As you inhale, take your full body stretch. And with the exhale, hug the knees to your chest and roll yourself onto the right side. Find a fetal position. Take a moment here to express gratitude for creating this time for yourself, for stepping out of your comfort zone, and for no matter what is going on around us, you are still brave and strong enough to take care of yourself and your loved ones. With gratitude, take a deep breath in. 
let it out push the earth away raise up into a comfortable seat plug the hands to your heart I would like to thank you so much for tuning in and practicing with me, sharing your energy not only with me, but with so many other peoples around the world. You never know who is practicing with you at the same moment and sharing the same good vibes and energy as you are. So thank you so much for tuning in from my heart to yours. Namaste.